live. Oh, we're we live. Are. Welcome to Little John Yarns and Karen V. Miguel. We're having our live stream together. I miss my best C B F F in the whole entire world, and I bring her here today so we can talk about these amazing ways for crochet self care. So we're going to be going over some patterns and talking about how we make ourselves feel better, especially for the Valentine's season that's coming up. Because for just for myself personally, I need my self care because I am a single woman. So I have to take care of myself. And we got tons of crochet patterns to look at. So Karen, I missed you. I Thank missed you, for you too. Oh my gosh, you're my BFF. I, I love doing lives with you. You know that. And um, yes, if you've been wondering where I've been, been working hard and also doing some self care as well. So there's uh, just taking care of like my my business and some and I also like I, as you guys know I consult and do other things on the side too but anyway it's always good to come back together and spend time together and talk crochet and business and and specifically I was glad that we that we're going to cover stuff about taking care of ourselves too so um but yeah but um oh my gosh I miss so I miss you guys so much and it looks like we have some regulars in our chat so let me first and foremost say hey to Miss Dee Dee. Hey, our favorite. <laughs> hey, Miss Dee Dee. Hey, during the, my little bit of time, I've also I've had a chance to talk to wait. Dee Dee. Oh wait, am I on our screen song? switch? Yeah, on our screen me... switch. Oh, okay, there, we there we go. I'm ready now. Ready? And bing. cheers. Sorry, there we go. Mm. Oh, and Karen, I want to say once again, people have been on me because you haven't been here. Really? I've been, yes, because I'm back to door in my every Saturday live streams and they're looking at me like, where Karen go? <laughs> where, is the Karen? where is the funny girl at? I'm like, I can be funny too, I swear. I'm trying I'm to song and dance and entertain everybody without yeah. you. But you know what it is too? Like, I don't know what it is. It's February, but mm -hmm. every, do you guys have that saying like February blues? Did no, you, I never heard that. Oh, they, like they say that February is like the saddest time of the year, but I think it's just because the weather, it, it's just so nasty. Like it's, it's so cold and like it's, you're prone to kind of your energy level dropping and, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that's why it's like, I think with the, with the winter, especially here, it's been okay. Canadians, if you're in from Canada, wherever you are, give us a shout out. Let us know where you're, where you're chirping in from, but it's like insanely cold here right now. Like Alicia and I were talking about it and it's negative 18 Celsius here. That's like negative. What did I tell you? Was it negative 40 or okay, or Celsius Fahrenheit math. All right, so 34 is freezing point for us, so that's zero for you. And then you subtract 14, it's like 12 okay. degrees. <laughs> yeah, negative 18 Celsius is negative 0.4 Fahrenheit. That's got to be, okay. and then with the wind chill, um, it's negative 28. So it's negative 18 Fahrenheit. Okay, so just so you know, it's cold. It's hard to sometimes stay cheerful <laughs> when your skin's falling off. <laughs> yeah, I think, okay, it's 22 degrees here. So uh -huh. that means it is negative 12 degrees Celsius. Negative 12. Oh my gosh. Oh, here, here. We've got like some science people. Terry. Hey, Terry. Watching from North Island. It's raining. Raining. Ooh. We haven't had rain here because it's all ice. Snow. It'll turn yeah. to snow. Yes. What time is it in Ireland right now? Really? Oh, we got, oh, my fave. Crazy Poppy Lady. Oh, wait. Sorry, do I'm that on, again. I'm, crazy Poppy Lady. UK here. It's heated up here. Wait, it's heated up here to seven degrees Celsius during the day today. Ooh, heat wave. Look at you. Heat wave. <laughs> I can't wait for a balmy zero. <laughs> Ooh, nice and warm. Yeah. And the, if the, when that happens, us Canadians are going to be like, yay, let's get, there, let's get our shorts on. Hold on. I just want to. Uh, hold on. Uh, I just have to look something up really, really it's quick. Okay. Uh, we have. Look. Thank you, yes. Knit and Crochet oh, Tiger, New Orleans, fifty-nine degrees, fifteen Celsius. Actually, okay. yeah. There you go. I'll take that any day. Just saying. Oh my gosh! Finally made it. Oh look! Yay, Rachel Maynard finally made it live. And let's see. Glad I get a tan. And well, anyway, it is kind of cold. So any. So 
Well, it is cold for you too in Pennsylvania. It's not like you totally miss having a winter, right? Yeah. So, and isn't this our time, folks, when we when we love our knits and crochets? Because <laughs> this that's is what I call crochet season. This is where I make the most money from September to around February, March. That's for myself. I start weaning off. People are like start thinking about spring, and I'm like, I skip my. This is my spring depression. But I'm like, my money's getting low. Please <laughs> buy a pattern, you know? Yeah, I find with product because like it's so go go go. Like it starts picking up in September, October. Then mm -hmm. October picks up. November busy, busy, busy. December busy. Then January, February. Yeah. It's almost for me. I always have like. A, a state where I'm kind of like in retraction mode where it's like, oh my God, it was so busy. I just need, I need to back off for a bit. So, yeah. So, but January, February, generally it's slow. So that's why it's a good time to like, to do things for yourself. And I have to admit, I had a little bit of fun recently. I went to, I went to a spa with my sister and one of my best friends. So it was lovely. And it's, I think I mentioned it before. It's called Go Spa. It's somewhere I want to. I want you to come to when you come visit, and you just spend the whole day there. It's like seventy five bucks, but then you can eat too, so it's easy to eat a lot. So that's where you know they'll charge you. But you could read. You can go to like the amethyst room, the spa, the hydrotherapy. If you want, you can get like massages and just or body massage. Oh, it's just wonderful there. So I went there. I didn't do a lot of massaging. I just read a lot, and there's a lot of napping sofa like, everywhere everyone's just napping you can nap under infrared if you wanted to there's like okay yeah there's all these light therapy this and that so um i don't know i just napped in the in like this napping room so anyway that and it's just it's very and the, there's people coming around they just they tidy up they clean everything in between so when, whenever someone gets up from their nap mm -hmm. table nap um on the sofa they'll redo the, all of the linens and stuff like that it's just it's so cool so that's what i did that's what i do when it's like um like an overhaul like you you, you know i need like something major to kind of overhaul uh -huh. but what do you do to pamper yourself well lately i haven't pampered myself lately well i'll tell you what i've been up to today early my daughter totaled my car what she's fine she's fine it was total because it was an older car. So it wasn't like it was the pieces. She hit a deer, messed up the wheel. The car was old. So therefore it was total. And so I've been without a car for three weeks. Oh no. But thank you to my daddy. He, well, he didn't buy the car, but he took me to go buy a car this morning. So I have a brand new used car in my driveway. So I'm back to being mobile again. Finally. That's news. You got a you got a new I buy a lot of my cars. Like whenever I buy a new car, it's usually mm -hmm. used. So that's that's yeah. totally cool for I like me. I like to pay but cash, like, straight out yeah. cash, so I don't have to have a car payment. But like that's huge. So what kind of car did you get? It is a Toyota RAV4. It's an SUV because love my dad even though i'm 42 years old and my dad is 70 he's like you need a four-wheel drive just in case i'm like daddy listen i can still call him daddy i'm like listen dad i work from home i am that old lady that drives to the grocery store and back again like give me a little sedan i'm happy he's like no you need an suv and my little son he's like mom you need a family ride i'm like okay <laughs> so i got my suv mom mobile in the driveway and i'm happy just so i can Go to the store. I miss just going to the score store and getting crap. Even though I never leave, I've been spinning for Slim Jims like crazy. I have a beef jerky kick. I'm like, I just want to buy one, and I can't. I'm stuck in a house. But oh, well, now you have a nice Asian-made vehicle. I love Toyotas and Hondas. That's my uh -huh. I've only ever bought because they're they're good for people my size. Because uh -huh. you know you could put like, you? pardon. I'm only, How tall are you? I'm only five two and a half. You're you're my CBFF, and I don't know how tall you are. You yeah. are tiny. Yeah. Well, yeah. And you're like, you're, I think you're the height of my sister. Aren't you 5'8, five 5'9? Five five seven. Oh my gosh. See, you're statuesque. I can I, tap you on the head. <laughs> well, when I wear, if we, whenever we finally stand next to each other, you can wear flats and I'll wear heels. Okay. And then we'll both be 5'7. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to add platforms to to the thing. Oh, look, here's Melanie, our gal, Sunny yeah. 28 in Michigan. Oh, my gosh. Wonderful. Can I add somebody after you do yeah, that sure. one? 
one of my favorites, uh, Cherry B or Cherry Bomb. Hi, Alicia and Karen. I just sent my Kern Whip. Oh, and by the way, anybody right now before we hop into whatever we're talking about, if you have any awesome patterns that you would like to send me and you're watching from my live stream, Little John Yarns, my email is down below. Send me what you're currently working on so I can show everybody here. And Cherry B is a statuesque five one. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I yay, I'm a little taller than you. You're tall. Oh, <laughs> should we hop into this? We're already yes. like 10 minutes in. We're like, yeah. I know. Okay. So um I was gonna ask you, like, well, okay, so you do the, no, we're talking self-care. All of us, we know why we're all brought together because we all love crochet, right? We love crocheting. That is like part of our are part of our mo um aside from that on a daily basis sometimes i'll to relax i'll crochet but then sometimes i'll also have tea what else do you do on a daily basis that make you kind of relax actually to relax like you said i love tea my thing to relax i will binge watch a show that's been on for years that has at least eight seasons um, my last relaxation, I know it's cheesy and I know a lot of people don't like it, but it's this one show from the Hallmark ch channel. It was Hall called the Good Witch. Huh? Hallmark channel? Yeah. It's called the Good Witch. And it was, sometimes you just need a happy ending no matter what. And those type of chant, it's going to end happy. Yeah. I need that. I don't need some action drama and that makes me sad. I, I want to know. Girl meets boy, they have a little bit of trouble, but you know, they end up loving each other in the end. Yeah. I like that. that was, I just got a whiff of Hallmark Channel recently. And, uh, and I, I realized how, how nice it is because the, the amount of strife you actually experience is like, is so very little, like there's, a, you're always going to more or less be happy. Like the level of anything terrible happening is, is, is the chances are it's very, very slim. So when you're doing these nice things, I thought I'd add some things to add to like your happy experience. And, um, if you're a crochet person, uh, think, uh, Feel free to drop in the comments if there's crochet things that you would add to your like self care. So if you're watching a movie, you can also perhaps. Oh wait, oops. Oh, I'm just showing it. Yeah. If you're if you're on um, you may also want to add to your self care a pillow. Like if you like watching um mm -hmm. a movie or whatever, you can make a crochet pillow that you could lean on or whatever. I'm gonna show you some patterns that inspired me. So that are self-care inspired for activities that you do when you're caring for yourself. So I saw this and I think it's because I'm still on the whole granny square kick. I don't know what it is, but I was looking, actually, I was looking at the fashion trends for this coming year for home decor and for like fashion. I'm telling you folks, crochet is not going out. It's gaining steam. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. People are like, oh, crochet is coming back. I'm like, it's been, they said it's been coming back since like the early 2010s, but it's getting stronger and more and more. It hasn't even left the run right. It still keeps coming back every season somehow. You know why? This is the truth. This is what I think. It's because I think crochet in general is just being accepted as like a valid way to create knits. And I know knit is not crochet and everything, but it's considered like a knit, right? And mm -hmm. now when people are realizing the versatile, the texture, the like the beauty of crochet, and that it's not just granny squares, people are all over it. And granny square brought it back. But now that yeah. people realize like it can be more than just granny squares and you can freaking make anything out of crochet. Now it's like gaining steam. And it's again, this new season, it's like freaking hitting the runways in more than just granny squares. It's like the texture. Yeah. Getting so so anyway, oh yes, Cherry B loves granny squares. I still I'll have an affinity to granny squares. And you know what? I should have I didn't want to make granny squares when they were like totally, totally hot because I'm like, oh, you know, I hate jumping on like the mega mega train. But mm -hmm. um there are cute ways to like bring it bring it like out of like out of you know hokiness. And here's another here's another cute one for oh here's another cute one for when you're on the sofa or just relaxing. Check out like the that. star pillow pattern, guys. This is so cute. When this was there's that stuffing. I know they couldn't have bought uh, the stuffing for the star pillow. I wonder how they did that. Yeah, maybe yeah, it's like that might be worth the purchase. Yeah, this is so if you're looking at one stop wonders. 
this uh this store one stop wonders but i just like the star pillow because i thought oh wouldn't that be so cute like on your bed just throw a throw pillow and just watch a movie and enjoy like your own like self-care do you have anything that do you have anything any uh patterns or things that you would Similar, add i do have some patterns let me see first they're not like let me add to stream excuse my messy background let's see let's hot present let me make it all nice and professional looking ready guys Ooh, look at that uh, I can't see. find it. Well, where's the, here we go. Of course, the bath sets. That is the whole idea of the whole spa routine. This one is made by, oh, <laughs> I was supposed to put their name right here, but of course, I just left the outline discussion, the already writ written text. But all the patterns that I have listed um, on my presentation will be listed down below. But I love these little sets, especially little pads. I even have patterns for this. Cute. They're nice easy washable and i rem remember the uh soap on a rope or the soap in the thing yes my grandma used to make these all the time i used to think they was weird when they were young but that stuff exfoliates oh yeah it's it's no joke if you want a nice smooth buttocks and back <laughs> put a oh, nice bar soap inside of here is great so i thought these were super cute uh -huh. let's see i think i have a couple more of those Where's while you're, uh, while okay. you're, oh yeah, there. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, we are so on the same wavelength because I got, I, I have some examples of that too. Hold on. Should I share? Tell me when you want me to okay. share in between. Let me uh, show you these ones. Oh my God, the, those are you know, nice. Aren't these so cute? At first, when I was glancing through Ravelry and looking at this, I'm like, at first shot, because it was on my phone, I'm like, is that knit? Then I'm like, no, <gasps> it's crochet. Ravelry, hey? Okay, I got to pick that one up. I have to pick that one up because I was looking for yoga socks. And I'm uh -huh. like, and I, I was looking for ones that you could really, really extend like all the way up. But I like, I like the pattern of these because of the, like the ornate pattern on the instep. That's super cute. Yeah. But before you jump off of the scrubby example, oh, because okay. I have some scrubby examples I want to share too. Shall I yeah, share them? And then we'll sure. go back to yoga socks because I have some of those too. I still got more scrubbies. I was just placed them. I'm all over the place. So go oh, ahead. Yeah. Yours. Okay. So scrubby, okay, back to, to, to the scrubby example. How come it keeps up to you? Here? These ones, see, they're like, it's very similar. I have, was on this, a very similar wavelength as you. I picked this one to show oh. because it has its own case for like a basket in the pattern. Like if you ended up buying it, it's come from Viv Made Crochet. Yeah, guys, I'm going to put these links to um, in the thing, but similar i believe like i exfoliate too at the night because i have pretty oily skin so i gotta i have to exfoliate my or my skin just gets totally cakey i don't know if you've ever been into this too but um do you this is so personal and you can answer it if you don't want to. i'll answer do you, i want to see my whole skin routine but go ahead do you face shave or dermablade my uh daughter she face shaves i used to uh was it that that little needles? I used to do that. The derma was that the derma plane? No, the little needles? okay. The needles. That's, is that, yeah, that's like you know the vampire facials, the one that like that's high. Isn't that micro needling? Yeah, With, or sub. It's a derma roller. Yeah, it has little needles on it. I oh, okay. tried that when I was younger, but I was young. Right now, I of course exfoliate. Have you tried the what tretinol? It's like a retinol A cream or whatever. I think so. I think I'm, I think I girl, you have to get this is if you have to get prescription that and my collagen peptide. Look at this skin. Look at this 42 year old skin. Oh my gosh, you're a baby. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so much older than you. What? You're only 35. Thank you. <laughs> plus, plus, plus. <laughs> well, actually, I'm. As my grandmother, we used this age for generations. I am 39 plus. My grandmother stopped aging at 39 plus. My mother, and so have I, stopped aging at 39 plus. I would say I, I, I would. I'm a, I'm a solid 37 ish, like 37, 39 ish. Yeah, that would. Mm, that's probably 29. Really? You're, you're 20. No, I'm not in the 20s. I don't think so. But, uh, oh. but it's always good. But the, to keep us there. 
exfoliate. But dermablading, I I swear by. I think that's one of the best things you you can have. What's this? And I have enough needles every few months at my dermatologist. <laughs> I'm 74 <laughs> mentally. <laughs> enough needles. You do whatever needles you need to do, okay? I know, right? I'm yeah, I have enough girlfriends who are like, don't be shy. You do what you do you. I'm all for that. You are a young lady compared to me. I'm at 62 in March. Oh wow. De okay, okay. <laughs> you are 39 plus also. Hush your mouth. Everybody yeah. <laughs> in here is 39 plus. And if you're younger than that, you need to grow up to be 39 plus. Yeah. If you are over 39, we are the 39 fairies. We grant everybody's 39. Everybody else, <laughs> you can. Grow up. You're 39 too now. Yeah, today. you're 39 too. Enjoy it. Okay. Well, what's this? My Maymao was eternally 29, even when she passed at 87. Oh, so sweet. I do. Uh, yes. Okay, so let me share another one that uh, this pattern I thought was kind of cool for a scrubby because you always have the ones that, that look like. Bouillon? What, what's it called? Wait, the stitch. Bo the, Bo I, I'm thinking I, like chicken cube bouillon, but it's not that. I don't know. It's called. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this is called. I don't know how I was tempted to buy it as soon as I saw it because I I'm I'm thinking, do they wrap the yarn around it and then yes. do one full stitch? It's That's weird. You wrap the imagine this being a crochet hook. Uh-huh. And you wrap it around it several times. It's somebody in the comment, I know there's some smart crochet men and women in the uh comment section. For sure. It begins with a B. It's boo boo something to stitch. And Buchel. it's weird, huh? Is it buccal or bouillon? I don't know. It's something. I'm waiting for somebody to say it in the comments. Somebody is smart here because I know we're always like 20 seconds delayed, but the stitch is so beautiful and I have trouble with it. It always looks crooked when I do it. This person has it down and I'm like this stitch. I just imagine it scrubbing your face. It would like, I thought, okay, this is different. It's not the flower, the typical flower in the center scrubby. This is like kind of like a, a bri bri Brillo, like a Brillo pad almost. Oh, here, is it buccal? That's what I was thinking. No, that's a buccal. That, no, that's Bouillon. a type of yarn. There it is. There it is. Bouillon? Thank, I think that's it. Thank you, Susan. Yes. Thank you, Susan. Okay, this is cute. So this is, that's why I thought I'd share this. I'm like, okay. This isn't a typical pattern that I've seen lately. So I thought I would share that. Here's another face washcloth. It's not a, if you want to err on the side of like not using a scrubby, but just if you're, you know, we'll school you like a face cloth. Here's a cute uh -huh. one. I thought this stitch would exfoliate really well because it's got some texture to it. But oh, it's, I do like that. Yeah, it's simple. Oh, after this one, can I show you one? Yeah, yeah. This one, it reminds me of this washcloth right here. Let me add to the stream. Let's see. Oh, oh this is this is mine, but that's cute. That's just a simple pattern you can find on YouTube. The link is down below. But this one, brilliant. The massage back scrubby. How many times there's that one spot on your back? You're like, I can't get. So whoever, wait, Katarina, am I saying her name right? Uh, Katarina, maybe. It's, okay, Katarina, you're a genius oh, crochet Katarina. pattern designer. I love the whole idea in scrubbing the back. And I like your model. How did you convince, I know that's somebody's husband. How did you convince him to stand by the beach? I'm like, honey, put behind your, behind your back. You can do it. Yeah. I hope you find somebody like that too can be half naked on a beach modeling the my crochet. That's pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. You got to be pretty confident to like go ahead and take that shot. I get like, I, I presume the guy was like, I'll do it if I don't have to show my face. <laughs> my friends might see it. Right. Oh, and you'll have to shave somebody... my back first. <laughs> uh, Nick, so... Tiger, he told us it's bouillon pronounced just like the cubes used in the flavor soups. I thought so. I thought I was being like a little crazy. I'm like, is it bouillon like chicken and beef flavor cubes? But I guess so. Yeah. You know what would be smart too? If you crocheted in a soap pocket so then it doesn't have to, you don't, you know, and then the soap stays Genius. Yeah, in the, in the, the strap while you're kind of thinking and it gives you like texture and uh, like weight to it, you know, That's someone designed that. that. There you go. <laughs> Do you use the stitch that you use on your, uh, that last washcloth, I'll probably like that stitch better. Yeah. 
it would i think it would grab more skin <laughs> okay let's, let's see what i missed okay we did that one we did that one but wait oh, oh, do, 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 the foot the wait. leg warmers okay wait did i show my last okay wait. i already showed the face cloth so i'm gonna oh. close up the face cloth here was another one can i show this one real quick yeah yeah this one is another super cute set this is made by ling ryan you can find this on ravelry link down below you get the headband, you get the soap on a rope, you get the face scrubbies, you get the body loofah, you get a little basket, and you get a washcloth. Wow. How That's cute. amazing. What a great I Oh, I like I like that like look at that scrubby. The 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 taupe one in the center, the light taupe one. What kind uh -huh. of stick is that? Oh, can, I wish I could zoom. Can I zoom? Let's see if I can go back. Can I zoom in on that? Nope, I like, can't zoom in on it. Make it kind of like flowery looking like um cabbagey like no like it's almost it's, like a um it's made from flower yeah it looks like a, a like a cauliflower oh look at you're so smart Karen I'm, I'm not sure what I said <laughs> I don't think so brioche is style of knitting and it's also French style bread a lot of crochet and knit stitches are named after food brilliant and they ought to be because food I love food well oh, knit and crochet tiger are you also like a yarn historian oh by the way do you know we've been pronounced well i've been pronouncing she's not here today uh -huh. you know how we call her recollected goods yeah it's reclectic like eclectic oh, with rec a R. oh reclectic Re like eclectic. she likes to reclaim old items and remake them in because she has so many talents but that just made me think of that yeah uh, Oh, okay. So a re recollectic. Next time she's on, she'll probably log on today. She said she's looks coming on my show oh, on the eighteenth. Oh. She is a crochet historian. Wow. She knows all things crochet. I can't even. She inspired me to write a whole blog post. Did you know there's technically no such thing as worsted weight yarn? Worsted weight. Oh, really? What? Shut the front door. Yes, there's technically no such thing as worsted weight yarn. Worsted is actually how a yarn is made. But you can have worsted DK, you can have worsted finger weight, you can have worsted bulky, and you can have worsted four weight. Okay. It's how it's the term used originally by spinners. It's the way the yarn is combed and laid and spun. Okay. So I wrote um, when she told me this, I happened to find her tipsy on a saturday night watching instagram yarn live streams mm -hmm. and i was like what she's like yes it's just over the years it's just been it turned into that way like spinster spinster originally didn't mean a old, like an old married lady. woman okay. it was a woman who spun or naughty didn't mean misbehaving naughty once meant to have nothing to have not worsted was actually a yarn and it turned into worsted weight and we just accepted it. I'm not saying there is none because even the Craft Yarn Council says they refer to it, but it's still called medium four weight yarn. Yeah. Not worsted weight. Interesting. Oh my gosh, this woman should make a, okay, I'm watching that show because that's fascinating what you just said. So it's almost like when people say chai tea and like Asians don't like it because all tea is chai. Did you know that? No. <laughs> Look, let's all blow each other's minds right now, okay? But the stuff you just said, it's like, okay, so all yarn technically is kind of worsted. It's yeah. just not that all it's, not all yarn is no? the way it's spun. Not all yarn is worsted. It's just the way it's spun. Okay. It creates a smoother, tighter okay. Uh I wouldn't say knit, but like fabric. And it's typically the method that they use for like the stuff you get at like like for craft and like the you know like um it like at michael's and and like walmart and stuff like that that's like worsted because it's mm -hmm. kind of it's fun and stuck together very very closely like and that's yeah so that's like worsted okay instead of uh as opposed to like roving where it's kind of like left in a fiber but like put kind of in 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 the long what's strand. up with this chai tea what do you mean all tea is chai tea chai in in like in in an Asian language just yeah. means tea so when people say chai tea it's tea tea just like it's <laughs> like if you call your okay in in the philippines your grandmother mm -hmm. is lola and then mm -hmm. so if you say like lola grandmother it's like 
it's it's Not like right it's ne it's like um it's negligible it's like it's unnecessary because that's exactly what they are redundant i get it yeah yeah like it's redundant let you say that part again like uh but anyway like worsted worsted yarn is it it's a type of yarn okay so not all yarns worsted yes it's a type of way um that you kind of spin it all together but yeah chai tea like whenever people say like chai chai tea chai and tea chai is tea <laughs> that's the thing chai is oh. tea. so ch calling things chai tea is is don't it's not well that it will forever be called chai tea but it's it's like saying tea, tea. can i have a tea tea <laughs> oh, tea tea Okay, oh, so, yeah, it's kind of redundant. It's, it's a, okay, so what well, that'd be a tighter strain of yarn. Chai means tea. Yes, it does. Chai means tea. So there you go. And then, yeah. So uh, I'd be interested to find out what, what other things the recollectic knows because that'd be like, it's fascinating. Oh, here, like uh, that really, the, the other info really blows my mind, my ladies. <laughs> we just blew Dee Dee out of the water. <laughs> we too, because she's a. Uh... She's her name's Christy. She's coming on the 18th. Uh -huh. I know how when me and uh, you and I first met before you came on my live stream, we did a little chit chat. Yeah. Well, I was doing a little chit chat with her and she was just nonchalantly saying huge facts that changed my life like it was nothing. She's like, yeah, I'm like, what? What? Like, I would love to do. She started talking about the grandmother, the godmother of crochet. Her name is Mademoiselle. It's super French. I can't even say it. It's so French that my tongue just can't form the word. This woman, she made one of the first published crochet patterns. She's published over 70 something patterns. She used, she was a gangster. People used to try to steal her work and she would sue them nonstop. Like, er, er, stop. I'm like, oh, who is this crochet gangster that was just running the stuff back in the 1800s? But I can't wait to do an article on her, but I've been trying to do research and it's confusing. Oh my goodness. I'm getting there. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. Like, a, a, we, like you know what? I think it's like the whole history thing. Like, uh, and, and you did a video on this once too, like the history mm -hmm. of crochet. Where did you say it originated it from? It was from the... Well, actually, there, there is actually no... Nobody can pinpoint exactly when crochet was invented, but it was through the silk trade where I, well, she also thinks so. I, I feel so, what's the word, verified? Like, yes, my video was correct. A lot of the stuff you'll see from Asia, from the Middle East, where the silk trade was back in the day, how it flowed eventually over to the European countries. Uh -huh. It started way over in the uh, east and slowly made its way over. And you'll see how s stuff has changed from nail binding to rashtiki. I think that was a Middle Eastern type of fabric weaving, almost crocheting like the uh, single crochet. Yeah. I wish she was in the comments right now so she can say, yeah, you're right or no, you're wrong. But it didn't come in the 1800s. I traced it back a form, a similar form back to Egypt. You know what I mean? Wow. It's not new, but as when I was talking to her, there was just no name for it. Nobody wrote a pattern down. Crochet is something that was handed down from mother to daughter and uh, over and over again. And eventually somebody in the 1800s said, let's write it down. Yeah. We invented it. And that's funny. It's funny that like the, how things pass from generation to generations. Cause I just, I've always used to think too, I'm like, there, like crochet was passed down to me in a way where it's like, I totally didn't think twice about it. Now crochet is like this huge industry. Right. But yeah. like, I remember too, my dad showed me how to fold like woven placemats and we used to fold woven, like palm. We used to use palm to weave placemats and uh, now if i did i probably can make a whole tutorial and a course on it or something <laughs> right yeah oh cherry b that uh the vikings they did a lot of nail bite nail bending it's something nail biting it was like a little needle and they it's almost like a slip stitch what they did over and over again to make hats and all type of cool things but it come goes back to there too Wow. Okay. Let's, uh, there's a little bit of trivia here. 
believed to have started in Asia, but was named in France. The same like pasta started in the Far East and the Italians built an empire of pasta. So, yeah. you know, it gets like, it gets big once the Europeans, they're like, oh, we can really do something with this, <laughs> you know? Okay. Since you're Canadian, I know you're not French Canadian. We, we've no. established that. Well, I've asked Jojo for that. <laughs> I know, Jojo, you were in the comments. No. That's cro I think that's crochet. Does that mean hook? I think it means hook, doesn't it? In French or croche? No, I don't know. It's no? okay. That now you're now you're tapping like the capacity of my French knowledge. <laughs> we Did are required to take it until grade nine. <laughs> I know how to I know how to conjugate the word etre and that's about it. <laughs> je m'appelle Alicia. Je m'appelle Je m'appelle Carrie. <laughs> Bonjour. Uh, that, yes, yeah. I know. I'm yeah, good. we'd have to look Wait, that up. Was come see come saw? Was that French or that's that's French. Or French. That's French. Okay. okay. <laughs> we are really showing our our French capacities here. <laughs> Wait, French for hook. Okay, oh. I think um I can't pronounce your name, Ada. Am I? How do you? Would you pronounce that? I. It still looks like Ida. I think it's Ida? Ida. Ida Yarn Arts. I feel like yeah. Ida has some facts. She was like, yeah, chai is tea. Yeah, chai. French for hook, crochet. Okay, I think she's a smart one. Yeah. Oh look, nib and and crochet tiger. That sounds about right. See, we're all validating. Crochet is for French is French for oh. hook. Wait, I knew what Kroger. I think that was, I remember doing a video and saying the word Kroger. And it was very, that sounds. Oh, Reclectic's here. Reclectic's here. Yes. <laughs> we have our fact checker. <laughs> hey, man. We knew you May would show up. On we were trying man. to show some history stuff. And me and Karen are trying. I'm like, if <laughs> oh uh, Reclectic Goods is here. <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> We think now she can validate if anything we mentioned was like true, but we'll just go to the comments and let you validate it. Oh, like idea, 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 okay, idea. Thank okay, you. That's, that's how you pronounce oh, did it. Did you want to hop back into your? Yes. Uh... Yes. Okay. So I left off here, and I, I I mentioned how I'm how much I love how that looks. Okay, and it's funny because we were so on the same wavelength. Because yes, I love. Here's my one of my favorites for leg warmers too. Cool. Now it doesn't. This is, I love this pattern forever. It's from Mon Petit Violin. And uh, it's been on her website for donkeys. And if you haven't seen her site, she was like one of the pioneers of like crochet patterns. Gorgeous. But anyway, the thing is, I was thinking, oh my gosh, you could totally incorporate this crochet pattern. I love how she does like the, the lace around here with the picos with mm -hmm. the, um, the yoga look of the you know yes. like this yeah but i think you found a nice oh, knit. that's crochet is that crochet this is crochet oh, nice. crochet i thought like i got i picked out this one because i like the yarn that she chose and i like how she did mm -hmm. like a scallop stitch here and then a front post back post here but yeah when you um when the only thing i have to say is and i like guys and um guys oh wait this might off the hook by quick this might be one of my students i don't know so i'll like i'm not going to take credit for anything but anyway um j yeah in general if you're going to get a foot model you know probably get a pedicure <laughs> I was say i was just about to say anybody who does that you're not catching my feet online you're not gonna <laughs> see my toes right no, you ain't i i bought myself some toes you bought yourself some feet so, yes. yes. And people are like, oh my goodness, your feet are so pretty. I'm like, no, they're not. I bought them. You're not so, catching me. I love, yeah. I love that you have a foot model. I've never actually done a foot. Oh, wait, did I do a, no, no, no. I have a foot. Oh, here's my foot model here. Bear with me. My Good night, model. Leo. <laughs> He's going to bed. This is mine. It doesn't look like a real foot, but it, it holds, it, works. The, it holds the silhouette well of any slipper or sock. And then See, that's nice. Does that just sit perfectly on the table? It does. It does sit perfectly on the table. See, See oh, when I'm taking oh, yeah. pictures, I put like a crochet hook in this little hole and I'm like dangling it, trying to get the perfect picture because it doesn't sit right. So yeah, I see like this, you put the sock on it and then like the magnet is so like strong that 
it will st- it'll you could put the magnet on and then set it on a table so it'll uh-huh. keep the shape like it also acts as a stand it's perfect yeah so you send me the, i've got to order one of those i don't i yeah i think i got it on amazon but i could i could double check did i get an amazon or etsy i'm pretty sure i got it on amazon it's probably in my old like orders so i could send you a link to that but i love your real foot looking one that looks like creepily real <laughs> It's dirty right now. Got plus all over it. I think one of them lost the pinky toe. Oh, nope. It lost the toenail. See this one? I got to put the toenail back on. It's cold. Dude, I just, it's kind of gross how it's a little bit malleable. Girl, when I went to order one of these, so I was looking all online. Be, if you ever want to order a foot, be very, very careful because there are some dirty feet out there. I'm not talking about dirty toes. There's, <laughs> for this hole right here, it it's a lady part Ew. for men with fetish. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll leave That's... it that so we don't get demonetized. Yeah. Okay. We'll leave it like that. Oh, this one I picked only because I think that they styled this. I I'm a sucker for aesthetic, guys. When if you show off, you could show off an ugly pattern, but style it up, and I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna buy that pattern. Because <laughs> look, exactly, perfect picture. Look at that. Yeah, and then you put the the thing under it. Like the pattern isn't even that difficult. But I I want to whoever this is all about um Amy. I don't even know who you are, but props props on the styling of your. Oh, of I know your... her. She has so many. I've used her in my roundup so many times. She yeah. has sweaters, cows, apparently leg warmers. Yeah. But can I plug something real quick? Yeah, please do. Okay, guys, if you are in a, like amazed by this simple pattern but how pictures can make a pattern look so amazing. Yeah. You have to check out Karen's uh, course what? on a handmade success academy. The links are down in the description box below. She teaches you how to create funnels, how to appropriately take pictures and how to expand your business. So check that out. All the links are down in the description box below. Did you like how I easily did that? Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. So I really appreciate it. Yeah. I'm, I'm always constantly chatting with anyone. So like, if you would like a free consult on like, if you've ever tried selling your crochet or you want to take a stab at like, you know, getting it in this, look at this, like a leg with the picture. Yeah, just like getting it to the point where you uh, you style it up and you create an appeal for it. Chart. How many sales has she got? She's got over fifty one thousand sales. Because she takes great pictures. Yeah, and you know what? Doesn't take a lot of effort. All you just got to do is be outdoors and know how, like, know what you want it to look like. So, as an aside, I gotta give props for to her. But as a self care thing, if you're looking for like a yoga comfort thing, I. I think like leg warmers are great if you don't do hot yoga because when you're um when you're when you're doing yoga or meditating or anything like that don't don't you find you get cold when you get relaxed? Yes. Yes. You're just saying that. <laughs> I am. I'm like when I get relaxed, I'm under my blanket. I'm like, oh, I'm chilly. So of course you're warm. That's what. Yeah. So. Anyway, when I get like when I relax, I I lose like your body temperature will always kind of um, d- kind of come down when you when you do that. So anyway, let's see here. Let, 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 do you I'm mind just, if I go next? Yeah, go ahead and check it. I'm okay. just checking the comments. Okay, go since ahead. we're all in the whole yoga part, and I'm gonna do another little plug. If you would like to help support, if you're watching on Little John Yarns, if you'd like to help support my channel, you can always, if you see the little dollar sign in the bottom of the comments, that is the super chat. You can help support me by clicking that button. And when you donate, my I think the lights are somewhere. I gotta move the lights over. The lights will go off, my bubbles go off, and you'll get to spin the wheel of patterns. Actually, let me move my lights over so it's yes. Off. So if you decide to do a su- like a super chat or a sticker for Alicia, she'll have lights and bubbles. I will give you an applause and Alicia will give you one of her patterns. <laughs> yes. And know what? If you do not, I will still put off the lights and bubbles. You just tell me yes. to press the button. Yes. All right. So let me let say me... hi to one of our friends, Lawrence. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Go ahead. Love your self-care in crochet and with kindness. <laughs> Thank you, Lawrence. <laughs> There we go. Just want to do a shout out there. All right. So the next one, since we we're all in the whole yoga thing, yoga mat holder. I thought this was genius. I actually have two yoga mats that are beat to death. 
I don't actually go out and go to a yoga class. I Ooh. will <laughs> do a yoga video from YouTube and uh -huh. my yoga mats aren't rolled. They're just tossed in a closet. And I'm like, maybe I should, I'm like, should I purchase one? No. Crochet one. Yes. 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 I yes. thought this was yeah. super cute. So that is the, you know what? I might have the same one in your, do you have more in your lineup for yoga mats? Cause I've got some more too. Nope. nope. I have no? Okay. Let me, then let me share some ones that I thought were really super cute. Oh wait. Whoops. That's a leg warmer. Bear with me. Bear with me. Book cover. Well, no, that's okay. I'll bring up a comment while you're looking. Um, uh, crazy pop Alicia. Uh, Alicia jumps so high. Oh, <laughs> I do. Let's see. I have it. I have uh, it already. Yikes. It's, there anyone that teaches us how to design our own? Actually, I don't know if any uh, fantastic crochet designers out there. Okay, here, but while 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 you're thinking about that, I'm going to share some other stuff too. But let's go, go back to that question in a minute. Oh, um, go yoga mats. I thought this pattern was super cute, especially because of the price. It's only two dollars and thirteen cents. So why not a nine? Why not like search for bargain, right? But the thing I like about this is, first of all, this, and I like how they accessorize with the rope, and mm -hmm. you can collapse it. So if you ever do yoga on the beach and you get sand on your mat, you can always like let the sand kind of flow through it. This is a smart design if you're in some of the hotter temperature climates. So yes. Oh my gosh. Great. We got a super chat. There we go. Great plug for Karen, Alicia. $2. Thank, Thank you. you. Dee -dee. I love so, you. You're so sweet. Hold on. I'm going to let you spin the wheel. Uh, uh, I can't let you spin a wheel of patterns because my present thing is wrong. Give me one second. Stop screen share. Present. Give me one second. You'll be spinning in a matter of five seconds. Promise. I think uh, entire screen share. There we go. Finally. Thank you so much, Dee Dee. You get to spin the wheel of patterns. Dee Dee. Let me give you a spin. Oh my goodness. It's so different when you are here. And she gets a slippers. Lovely. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Who's bubbles, bubbles? Lovely. There we go. And thank you so much. Thank you. What's your bear? You didn't cheers. Wait. Oh, cheer. Okay. Bing. Bing. Wait, wait. Ready? Bing. Bing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, so I'm there's good. this. And to contrast, to, to contrast this pattern, I wanted to show another cute pattern. Hold on. Hold on. I, I got it. I got it. Uh, whoops. There. Oh, geez. Because you know I'm a sucker for granny squares. Okay. Oh, look at like that. This one's my favorite. That's what's my favorite. Yeah. Like, and I even like the colors they chose, like the yellowish, yellowish green with that like cute granny square. Like it's mm -hmm. completely shut. It's probably kind of heavy actually to carry, but like I love it. I love the way this looks. It's so so cool, right? Anyway, oh. there's a granny square yoga mat case. So you can grab this from Crochet Love Me. Mel crochet love melbourne okay i'm sorry i didn't mean to take i'm sorry oh, i was trying to work things in the background this one's yeah. 6.93 you can get it from crochet love melbourne and then here's another one which i just thought was pretty okay this is classic yeah. what it looks, stitch is that yeah it looks it's macrame beautiful. but it's crochet it's not macrame no, i've it's seen not. that stitch before but it looks macrame doesn't it mm -hmm. and it's just probably chain and then single crochet, chain single crochet to make it look macrame -y, you mm -hmm. know? But I just, I love the look of it. It's so like, it's so classic sort of like Hatha yoga, you know, you know, like that it's like, it looks very authentic, you know? So, and look at that. I wonder if this is crochet. I, like it. It looks, I love when I see crochet stitches that don't look like the normal crochet. crochet stitch. Like you're not just doing half double crochet or whatever row by row by row it's thank you for zooming in yeah but you can it's, see here it looks like okay it does look like it's it's chain 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 and then single crochet single crochet single crochet chain 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 so you could see it's all single crochet and chain what an awesome finish that is that's gorgeous so if you're looking at making a crochet a yoga mat 
There you go, friends. Some recommendations. That's why I always say like crocheters when they say I'm a newbie, I can't crochet. Yes, you can. It's all about the pattern. That was like you said, a single crochet and some chains. Oh my Just gosh. Oh look, we got a we got a macrame -y love. Yee, I think this might have come off come on my channel. That's why. But will you still give her a spin? Would you please? Yeah, I'm gonna give you a spin. Okay, oh, let Melanie. me my my girl. Since I have like I need to start getting like more screens like you do. You're so much better than me in this. So I have to take off my one screen to put on this screen and then sheer. Don't mind me talking. There we go. Oh, you're working on a single screen still? Or like right I know. Now? That's I okay. just bought StreamYard. Give me credit. <laughs> Give me you know credit. why? Because you're more consistent with YouTube, so you focus on the camera. Me, I've got, I've always got two screens. That's why. What? No, no. We're we're spinning for you, girl. We're spinning. There we go. Let's see what you get. There we go. You get the sun hat. Oh, that's gorgeous. So remember. Oh, Kira, you might have to put this in your uh, description too. You can email me. I'll do it, put it in the chat. Okay. Little John Yarns at Gmail. Well, I said it wrong. Little John's Yarn at Gmail.com. I always put the S in the wrong spot for my own business name. Should I put it in the all in the chat right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I can't chat on my side. Oh, okay. Well, I just put it and it came up on yours too. So there's there you go. Okay. okay so now we've done yoga mat cases. What's next in your lineup? Because I probably have some too. No, show me first because I have to remove the one screen to get to the other screen. So you go first and okay. I have to pre-prep so again. So we've covered face, scrubby faces, yoga warmers. Okay. So some of you for self-care may love to read. Okay. So if you love to read, here's something to complement your reading experience that you might enjoy. And I got, I, I rounded up some, the thing about crochet book covers is that Sometimes they're a little too bulky. So here no. are some that I thought were cute. And like, you know, say you're reading, um, I don't know, like a Harlequin and you don't want yeah. people to know on the bus. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> At least you can cover it up with a nice, like, cro like a crochet book cover, right? Mm -hmm. You can make this one. cute. Try. It is cute. I thought it was well made. And then you I can think incorporate it's great for a crochet journal. Yeah, or crochet journal or like, yeah, or if you like a journal of your own, just for your own thoughts and, and ideas. So permit and look, permission to sell finished item. See, but truly with a pa with a pattern like this, you can incorporate any sort of ornate stitch changes that you'd you'd want, even if you decided to draft your own type of pattern. So here's from adorkable crochet. I thought the name of this store was ador adorkable and adorable. <laughs> Okay, so that's a smart, smart store name. Here's another cro a crochet book cover. This one I thought was very pretty. This is probably like, this comes with its own like uh, wrap that you could put on it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. They crocheted it onto like, like a canvas. The pictures are really good. This person probably made, this is Genius. nice. Yeah. See it's how all about the picture. Yeah, this is really nice. Like you get a good, okay. And as a critique of the photo, you get a good idea of the size of it, the kind of a book it can fit into. It's got a wrap. So it fits many different books. This is a good designed book cover and the cut, like the pattern is easy. This probably works up in like half an hour. Like, oh, yeah. if you want to like um, really embellish your self care, then consider this book cover. I have another book cover that I thought was really cute. Oops. Here we go. This one is cute These too. And the covers so are great for like stitch samplers too. If you want to find a new stitch, sample it out, make it into a book cover. I never thought about that. Yeah. Here's one that's not a pattern, but I thought was a, like a well-made book cover because this one's more like a purse. Yeah. You, know, you can slide it in, but anybody could make up this pattern because it's a simple rectangle crocheted. And then at the end, you just do like an, just, like, a circle arch at the end. Look at that. Thank Have you, circle. Brie Fashion House. I like that you are into fashion and I like that you like these book covers that I've selected. So the, <laughs> yeah, anybody could do these ones. But anyway, I thought uh, these were the ones I thought looked really nice and weren't too bulky. So there's some other ways that you can, oh wait, I put handles on my daughter so she can carry it easily. Yes, some people 
So people put, I saw ones with handles, like they, it almost looks like a purse. So, but I didn't include those ones, but that's a fantastic idea. Putting handles on your, on your book covers, or even turning it into like a crossbody, So you can just shove your, but then it turns into a messenger bag. And we had another oh, live yeah. for that. We are, we did a live for that one. Like remember gifts for teens. Remember that one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We, that was, what was that? December? Oh, so long ago. You leave me so much. Yeah. I miss you. You're I'm such a hardworking girl. You got 18 jobs. I don't know how you like manage. <laughs> I mean, I can understand why you can't be here, but I get sad without you. I have 18 jobs. You have like how many streams of income? Well, good for you. Some of them are passives. Guys, that's a way to do it, okay? You need passive streams of income. So you can be like Seriously. a Lisa. If I was just to sell like my finished crochet items, if I was to sell, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I would have full, another full-time job. Exactly. You have to have multiple streams of income. If you want to make money selling crochet, you have to write patterns, maybe sell finished items, blog, YouTube, sell merch, write books, make classes. You got to do it all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But just watch Alicia and I, because we we were full of ideas. <laughs> Do you have another one in your lineup? Oh, look at that. More leg warmers. Look at this. This is from Crafty Kitty Crochet. If you, This is her uh, 80s crochet outfit. What? I just thought this was cute. And her picture was the most adorable thing. I'm like, you like go, there's no shame. Look at her laying on the carpet. Like, yeah. look at me. And I'm about to work 20 out. 20-minute workout. And five more. And three more. And take it to... Do you remember that? The 20-minute yeah. workout? Oh, listen... I used to work out with my mom when I was young. Uh -huh. And this is before uh, workout uh, DVDs. Well, before DVDs, workout VHSs. My mom had a workout record. It was Richard Simmons, a oh, yeah. record. And we used to listen to Richard Simmons on a record. And we used to work out together. I was like, I'm, when I seen this, I'm like, this is so cute. It's cheesy. I wouldn't even work out. I would just walk around my house, like, embarrassing my kids. Yeah. Well, who wouldn't want, like... Okay, who 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 in the eighties? It's like Melanie's like all the eighties. I got but who in the eighties didn't want to look like this? I was like jaunting around the house trying to look like Olivia Newton John. I even cut my hair like a boy, like boy cut, and uh -huh. saying, "Let's get physical, physical." <laughs> and I gotta say, this pattern set isn't a terrible one. The, no, like, it's easy. No, it's super easy. It's like. It's a whole set. I'm not sure if I'd use the same yarn choice, but I mean, I would 100% <laughs> tacky 80s. Yes, because I think if you're trying to make this fancy and doable, I'm like, yeah, Meh. yeah. But you know what? I would make this, and then when my kids have 80s day at school, it makes me so mad when they have those days at school. I'm like, really? 80s and 90s? You having days at this? But regardless, I like it. Okay. Can I ask everyone in the comments, can you give me some sort of fashion trend that dates you? Okay. So like, <laughs> tell me a fashion trend that dates you. Okay. Cause like I used to be, I'll tell you, I did. I loved like warmers and headbands. That was my jam. This whole thing, I was all over it. If I could have gone to school in leotards and a 20 minute workout outfit like Jane Fonda, I would have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got a one fashion. Uh, I don't know if this was cool in Canada, but okay. we used to peg our pants. Do you know what that is? Peg or pin? Peg. What's that? It's. Now you got oh, me got going. Of, luckily, I got a pair of jeans. Oh, right you just here. happen to have a pair. <laughs> my son was like, my jeans don't fit. I'm like, toss them on a couch. So if these are on your leg, you would roll them like this. Uh huh. But there's a trick to get them tighter. You turn it this way and then roll it up. Oh, oh, that is pegging your pants. Yes. Okay. I didn't know there was a term for that, but yes, I used to do that. <laughs> you know what we also used to do? We used to pin the pant on the uh -huh. on the seam of the, the inseam, but only like a third of the way up. So it was tapered from the ankle to about the yeah. calf. And then the rest kind of was like roomy, you know? But okay. I'm going to bring up some of these from the comments and we're going to name the era. Okay. Hip hugger jeans. Okay. Ooh. See, I wore hip huggers after my daughter was born because they were in again, Ooh. weren't they? 
Like the, the one, like, no, your hip was fucking. You can still wear them after a child. The only reason I wore hip huggers after I was because my paunch was so huge. It had to the waistline had to sit under under the fold. <laughs> under the mama belly. So uh -huh. that that's only and then I'd wear a sweater over it, right? But like I'd wear the hip, but hip huggers, I guess, was that what a 50s or 60s thing? No, it came back because I remember I used to wear hip huggers in the 90s. Cause I would never wear a pair of jeans unless it was this far below my belly button. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, wait. Dee Dee says wait, it's 1973, watch. 73. Wait, let me take hers down, Dee Dee. Okay. Wait, wait, where's hers? There. My belly button's <laughs> down here now. My pants are near my breasts. <laughs> Alicia, you, you're so funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's too funny. But like hip huggers. Yeah. Seventies, but that's like, yeah, they called it later on skinny jeans and then skinny jeans were in from like pre pretty much from the nineties to the early two thousands. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the yeah. hip, and then the hip huggers, my daughter calls it um, early 2000 pop star pants. You know, the ones that yeah. remember juicy couture. Yes. The track low suits. Mm -hmm. I found all of mine. Yeah. But apparently they're back in again. Yeah, these juicy couture velour tracksuits. So now I'm rocking them around the house. Yeah, I'm like totally in. Who else? <laughs> I need some other, some more. Wait, wait, wait. Cherry. What jumpsuits? Yes. Jumpsuits. Oh, did jumpsuits ever go out of style? I have like a gajillion of them. I have a black. The thing about jumpsuits, your body has to be right. You can either look like uh, a sperm cell. Eight. Yes. A sperm cell? I was trying to describe it. You have to be like 18. 18 or a supermodel no. to wear a jumpsuit and not okay. look like Evil Knievel or something. I'm, I, <laughs> evil I, I wear jumpsuits because I have no waist. Because it's the only thing that defines, like, I like jumpsuits because they define the waistline. Mm -hmm. If you're wearing all one color, because if you wear all, all one color, you have to define your waistline for sure, yeah. right? And jumpsuits, jumpsuits usually do. But if you don't define your waistline, you look like a Teletubby. <laughs> so tell it, I can't wear jumpsuits now. It's not because I'm bad shaped. It's because I'm bootylicious. So therefore, my butt looks <laughs> much you know, oh, I bet you look amazing in a jumpsuit, girl. Oh, girl, thank you. <laughs> Come on. Oh, when we get together, I have to. We're gonna dress each other up in what we think each other should be in. That would be a fun. That would be a fun day. Okay. Uh. Let, okay. I'll, I'll, go, you go ahead. Alicia, Karen, I'm gonna spill it. I was born in '74, and so I was remember when the See, there you go. I remember when the material girl was still like a virgin. I remember when MTV starts with video killed the radio star. Video yeah. killed the radio star. And when we MTV are living had in the material world. <laughs> and I I am thought the Madonna and Cindy Lauper was the epitome of cool. I'm like, I need eight tutus. I need mesh gloves. I need one dangly earring and my hair. Yeah. Madonna made me want to get out of puberty and just become a woman. I'm like, dear God, please help me grow boobs. <laughs> dear God. Like, it never happened. <laughs> I must. I must. I must. I must. Did you see that they're coming out with the movie, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. Have you read that book? I remember the book when I was little, but I yeah. had, no, I didn't hear about the movie. Yeah, it's coming out. It's got Rachel McAdams on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think who I need. I need some other styles. I know we should get back into this, okay, but this yes. is hilarious. Wait, Laura, my thighs are too chunky for skinny jeans. Is that, is that no? Is that true? No, 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 no. I think if you've got some booty, you should wear skinny jeans. You should, but no, I, I feel it. Sometimes it's like I miss when jeans with that nice flow. Okay, this is taking me to the uh, mid '90s. I never wore them, but I thought that uh, cool kids in school wore those Janko jeans. You remember those jeans that were just all leg, all perfectly no shape. It was just the white leg. They weren't a belt. Do you remember Janko? They're back in those that look. They are. Yeah, I just bought a pair. I had them hemmed. 
Yeah, I wore oh, them to yeah. work and someone thought I looked like a farmhand. <laughs> They're like, are those farmhand pants? I'm like, you're so not cutting edge. This is in. <laughs> or I don't, they're not Janko. I like them. Is it Plazo? Plaza? Palazzo. Palazzo. I pants. love those. The way yeah. it just, I like the way it hits the hips perfectly, but then. Oh my I God. I like my walk to be yeah. like, oh, she's so earthy, bohemian. Yeah. I like that oh, look. But they've got to be a light, flowy fabric. Oh my God, Melanie, you make me laugh. The, the sofa paw, <laughs> but you're funny. <laughs> So faux pas. We call them elephant pants, but they're also like MC Hammer pants, kind of, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, clogs. Harem pants for the MC Harem. Hammer pants. Yes. You're dating yourself. Yes. Yes. Clogs. Clogs were cool. I loved clogs. I always wanted clogs. Wait, 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 wait. I, some of these people are throw like major throwbacks. Okay, bell bottom girls. Okay, that's like uh -huh. the 70s. Okay, I guess. They came back in the 90s again. Yeah. Like, I want to see something like super dated, like, okay, like mesh headbands. That was totally, that was hot pants. My mother used to crochet and sell them. Oh yeah. Those are in now. There's my mom's nickname. Let me, uh, her nickname was dot in high school. She graduated, I think 1974. My mom, she is still the hottest woman I have ever seen, but I guess she wore these polka dotted pants, hot pants. And her nickname became Dot in high school. I'm like, Mom, you Cute. are such a hoochie. Shame. <laughs> you, call, Shame. you know what? Okay. You know why? Okay. This might be controversial. Glitter has never gone out of style. Gay nightclubs still love glitter and glow sticks. I don't think you have to be gay or in a nightclub to wear glitter. I wear like glittery thing. I think glitter should always, like, glitter is, has a place in every era, like in every. I think she's thinking that. Uh, Studio 50, uh, ah. Studio 54, Quaalude era, Quay you know, all that. <laughs> You've been 80s. watching too much Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> I did. It was a good long movie. It was. I thought that was, that movie was hilarious. Hilarious. But, um, but yeah, like, and another thing, Animal Prince. Animal prints to mm -hmm. me will never go out of style. There will always, there's always a place to get them, get them in your wardrobe, even today. I was I still wear animal print and yeah. I still think sparkly things and I think you can wear velour in the summer. I know it's kind of like, oh no, you can't. Can you wear you velour, velour in the summer? I bought myself a velour short set. It was a velour little fake hoodie and it's shorts. I'm like, like you said, it's coming back. And I seen it at the store. I'm like, is it early 2000s? I'm going back. Let's do this. Why not? That's, it's like saying you can't wear velour now. It's kind of like saying, you know, you can't wear white after Labor Day. I just wore a white sweater the other day. I think it's like, yeah, I'm going to wear a white sweater when I'm also going to wear a white sweater. It's cold. Okay. So she <laughs> wore it in the 70s. Slips. They are so hard to find. You know where I you know where I get my slips now? Off of other dresses where you need a like you know when they sell a dress from the gap and they sell it and there's a slip attached? I just reuse uh -huh. them. But you can get that stuff on Amazon. That remind my grandmother, because, you know, when I was a teenager, she was all about slips. But my grandma called slips underwear. And if I didn't have a slip underneath my church dress, when I would go, because we would go to my grandmother's house before we went to church, she would lift up my dress and say, you don't got no underwear on. A good young lady wears a, her slip. But blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Grandma, it is 1990. Four. We don't need slips anymore. You know? She's like, <sighs> if you didn't have your pantyhose on and your slip, you didn't have your underwear on. That's she's like, that's inappropriate. You can't go out. Yeah. And I think maybe as as a woman ages too, you appreciate a good slip these days. Like there, I have a dress. It's a, it's oh my gosh, I love it. It's a Diane von Furstenberg dress. But mm -hmm. I will wear a slip under it because if you don't, it doesn't shape like all the under bits <laughs> so mm -hmm. that it looks good in the dress you know it's like now think about over it. the stuff without having to wear like a spank or something right that makes me i was about, just about to say i think spanks took over where slips used to be because i'll spank it up because <laughs> if, if i want to wear something slightly form-fitted i'm spanking it up you know 
I bought myself this body, <laughs> what do they call it? Body shapewear. All it is is a huge ace bandage with a Velcro at the end. I wrapped it around my, it probably has to be at least 60 inches long. You take it from, I'm going to stand up, the bottom, <laughs> and you just wrap, 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 and then the Velcros, and then my waist was this small. Oh and wrapping, God. all the meat goes up here, and you take that last wrap and cover up the excess meat. <laughs> okay, Alicia, you have like, you have a tolerance for discomfort. I can't, I could not wear that because I can't, I can't wear Spanx because they're Spanx just, they, they hurt and then I can't breathe and you don't enjoy where you are when you wear them you because you don't, no, you can't sit for long periods of time. You, you Spanx, sit like this. Yeah. Spanx are for standing. Like if you know you're going to make a speech and you're only there for, for 20 minutes, yes. Spanx are not for, you're going to go all day or whatever. That's why the slip I feel will ne the, the, Full dress slip will never lose its place in my heart because it covers the bits. It shapes the underneath when you have a flimsy colored, like a flimsy dress. Uh -huh. Yeah. But the spank, I, I just can't wear those. They just, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> the meat. <laughs> I just like the meat. Yeah. It, pushes, it does push your meat in the right places, but I'm just See, like, oh, I can't I breathe. Also, I like spanks. I don't know. Well, like I said, I have a... I have a rare. If I don't have with you. Spanx on, I didn't notice about myself until I looked in the mirror and somebody made a comment. If I'm wearing like a sundress or something like that, my butt has its own personality back there. So when it's just the, my butt's saying hi to neighbors, <laughs> the people across the street, the Spanx say, you ain't saying hi to nobody. Your butt cheeks <laughs> stay right here. They don't move. But when you don't have the Spanx on, when you're walking, your butt's yeah. doing whatever it wants to do. So the Spanx keeps it still. Yeah. Oh, that's, a, well, yeah. This, yeah, they get now. I just, I need comfort. I can't, I can't. <laughs> oh, no, look at this. About? Now, this is dating it. Garter belts and nylons. Do you remember oh. garter belts? Do you yes, know what garter, I, oh, you yes, do know. I only know because, because you were sexy reasons, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> But it never, I, they never, they never make it out of the lingerie drawer. <laughs> yeah, but I never had to. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have to wear those. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't own a pair. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the get. Yeah, I said for utility, I still wear regular old tights. You I know. was about to say, I don't want to put you on the spot, but now once but I you, learned, why you not? Can, you can do this. What's, you said you were in a dance troupe. Yeah. What was the dance troupe you were in? And your hips can do this thing. Yeah. I'm like, those hips in a garter belt? Jesus, I'm surprised you don't have 18 kids. <laughs> 18 kids. <laughs> can you explain to everybody what you do just in case they have no clue what I'm talking about? Oh, you mean the dance troupe? Yes. Oh, just in I case they don't know. I used to belong to a Polynesian dance troupe. Yeah. Where we danced like the hula Tahitian. And a lot of like grass skirt, Tahitian skirt, hula type. Give them some stuff. hand. Give them some hand so they oh. understand. Oh yeah. So can you imagine what she can do with her hips? <laughs> oh Jesus! Stop it, girl. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting it. <laughs> and I'm a woman. Oh, okay. Wait, okay. what's this? Men wore corsets in the 1920s. 1920s did they really did they wear corsets in the you really? know where you know what she's I a think? historian she knows she knows yeah can you tell us more about the 18th of uh, the seven no no is it like the 17th century because i just love the outfits in bridgerton <laughs> do you watch that show i haven't right now i'm listening to the third book on audiobook because girls just skipping. go to the show just to go oh. I, no, no. I watched one, the first uh, season. I watched the second season, but they're skipping the third book to go directly to the fourth book. To and Penelope. Like, yeah, to Penelope, because okay. she's actually the fourth book. If you've read the first book, The Duke and I, oh, yeah. okay, just watch the show. Just freaking I did. Both. I was so obsessed with the movie, I listened to the book. 
Oh, okay. Then I listened to the second book. Then I watched the second series. Then, I, yeah, I love it. Okay, that so you enjoyed one? it. Yeah. Oh, I just love the era, like in the, all their clothes. It's so, can you imagine? But then they, they wore so many layers. It's so fun. I have a friend who still, who does that still in her 50s. I'm not sure what they meant. Oh, oh, I'm probably Hawaiian. I'm picturing grass skirts with the snow. Yeah. Well, when you're in a dance trip, you just pretend you're always in the tropical cli tropical climate and then you just do Got your to. show. Whatever. But like, yeah, some women in their 50s. The thing is, Polynesian women, they'll dance into their 50s. They'll dance after they have kids. They just keep dancing. Like if you look at the ladies in the Polynesian village in Disney, most of them have all stretch marks on their stomach. They just keep dancing. That's a thing. They just keep doing it. And it's still, I, I know it's not meant to be sexy, but it's still sexy. I'm sorry. I'm like, can I say it? Yeah, go ahead. Asian don't raisin. <laughs> Black don't crack. Asian don't raisin. I'm just saying. It's oh. it's the oil in the face. It's the because yeah we have we hydrate you and I were well hydrated, we're well hydrated. We, okay, whoops. Where do you type to chat? There should be a dollar bill icon. <laughs> dollar bill. <clears throat> yes, dancing. Yes. Okay. Oh, we gotta. Okay. So thank you for sharing your era of outfits. Okay, because I I know we missed a ton of them, but let me just see if there's any ones that we like missed that really did stand out. Coarse knits, stirrups, stirrups. That's like total eighties. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um. And the, like I like that because I remember wearing stirrups because when I was young, sometimes your mom would forget to not forget. You start growing your clothes, and the stirrup pants kept your pants from being a little too high on the ankle. You strap them onto your feet, your pants are still long enough. They're just a little low in the crotch. You know what dates, you know what dates us like big time? I don't know if you know this, but like, you know, I don't know if they'll cover this in the Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret. But remember the, um, the, the menstrual belt? Do you remember? That? Oh, see, I, I didn't have the menstrual belt. My mom had the menstrual. You, did you use the menstrual belt? No, I came along oh, just when they invented the stick on. Okay. I was about to say, wow. Okay. You're like, no, Karen. No, I remember my mom had one. It was under the bathroom cover. And I'm like, what is this? What's this thing? That yeah. looks like work. Does this hold your socks up? <laughs> <laughs> it's too short, the strap. <laughs> you made me snort. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> pleated skirts. Pleated skirts are still, they're love still pleated in. Skirts. Yeah, I, was about to say, I, I love a pleated skirt. Yeah, whether they're long or they're short, pleated up, pleated up. Do you have another one in your lineup? Oh, uh, for something to show. Oh, let's for self care. See. What's your what's a, what's next in your self care? We'll we'll go back okay. to self care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just went off on a tangent. <laughs> this is just another uh, spa set. This was cute because it come with a basket, the little mats. What are these face scrubbies or mats? I don't know what this is, but it's so adorable. It probably could be used for both. It makes me happy. Just the colors and the little mitten on the side love it okay what else did i have in here i have I'm something to complement that here let me you, uh, show me okay okay i actually want to preamble it with something else first so okay hold on okay this was one this is a bath mitt i would totally use okay I, you're not sharing add the string oops Boom. i took you off oops. Oh. oh there we go there you go because i like bath mitts that have the fingers because you don't then, see too many crochet finger gloves though no, you don't you see don't. too many that's why I thought, oh my gosh, someone wrote a pattern where they wrote in the they wrote in the uh, the fingers. This I would use because I use the finger ones in the pattern in 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 the shower because uh -huh. it's so easy for you to like wash behind your ears, in between your toes, you know, and like when you when you've got your fingers right. So like props, props to the person who who wrote this pattern out to make these fingered bath mitts. Well, well done. So, okay, so there's that. And then here's another one. Okay, this bath puff. I use bath puffs too. I thought this one was really good. So $2.80 for this bath, that bath puff pattern. That's, I I, I might make this. I might make this you know because I think- I've always idea. thought about making a bath puff, but then I thought about all the ripples. And if anybody emailed me two weeks ago, about uh, selling me their uh, ruffle hat. Uh -huh. I am going to get back to you. I just keep forgetting to check my emails. I just don't feel like 
crocheting ruffles. I, I just don't. I will buy. Can I say side note? Can I? Sure, side sure. Yesterday, I was on a, I wasn't personally on a live stream. I was watching a live stream. It was a uh, parlez-vous crochet. She has this thing called Cellavision, where crocheters come on and sell their stuff like it's, you know, selling stuff on TV, like one of those infomercials. Yes. I spent so much money buying crochet. So much money. I support crocheters. Sometimes I'm like, I, don't, I ain't making that. I'll buy from another artist who makes it and support your skills. Uh -huh. yeah. I wouldn't make a puff. I'm no, I'll you're, buy it. You're a crochet snob. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, I get it too. I, there's some there's some things that I wouldn't invest my time into making. Like I will never make an afghan. I will never make an afghan. Yeah, yeah. That ooh, that belt was disgusting. <laughs> just, yeah, those were pretty gross, huh? So, um, so but like bath puffs, there there's something self care too. If you don't if you don't want to spend five ninety nine at the drugstore on a puff, then you could totally make your own. Um, <clears throat> Here's another one that I sh thought I'd share, which I, cause I was, I wanted to add something that was more like a slide your hand in, but doesn't necessarily have fingers. And mm -hmm. there, I liked the texture of, I like that. Oh, what hello. Is this? What did, what just Where'd happened? It, it, it just went in the background. Bear with me. Bear with me. Where did it? Oh, my mouse. I'm bearing. Oh, you're bearing. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. I'm confused I, for a second. I need a better picture. I don't know what it is. You know, okay, this is what? Okay, thank you for saying that. Thank you for saying that. I'm going to hide this part then. Okay, I I was looking at this and I'm like, I love the stitches because I think this could scrub really well. This, I think, was a good design in terms of like a square scrubbing mitt, okay? Because on the inside, okay, it's straight. And then on the outside, it's like you've got this kind of buccal st stitch, right? Or mm -hmm. like a puff stitch. Yeah. But I just had to say... This, like, I, this, these pictures are terrible. Like, this one, <laughs> you don't know the dimension. If you're oh, selling a point? bath mitt, I'm not going to cover who, who the store, store is, store is, but if you spot this, okay, the bath mitt, if, for anyone who's selling a bath mitt, show the whole bath mitt, okay? Yeah. Because you, this, you see the whole bath mitt, but it's no uh -huh. longer in context with the hand in it. Here, it's like the bath mitt accidentally ended up in the photo. Like what happened there? Yeah. Okay, and this one is like the close up. Did you accidentally hit like shoot at the like it, it cuts off every angle that shows the dimension like, of how you know, this is the is. main pattern picture. You know, this is the main one that yeah. shows up in search because it says crochet pattern on it. I'm like, yeah. And it's like, what is that? Right. And then you can't even tell the dimensions of it. Right. But you see a mm -hmm. hand is in it. You have no idea how big it is. And then they put it in there twice and still cut it off. That's my hugest pet peeve. When you when like bad, bad photography, you might as well not list your product if you're going to have bad photos on a product. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, that is just I love. I'm just saying because if you spot this or if you make anything similar to this, you want to list something, make sure your picture it looks, it looks great. Looks good. But so, it is anyways. a good pattern. We're not it saying a it's good, a bad pattern. It's a good I would have bought that pattern. It's just, yeah, it should have. It was just those pictures may may not be so positive. Like not not not, not positive, but like they're just kind of cut off, you know. Anyway, mm -hmm. show me your next one. Uh, I think I got like one more. Let's see. Share, share, share. Here we go. That's you. At Oops. stream. That's me. Uh huh. Okay. I'm I'm looking for where. I've been drinking. You haven't been sipping your beer. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I love it. Your... Oh, eye covers. I didn't put I'm eye su covers in mine. Surprise you didn't. This is nothing special. I can't remember exactly what stitch this is. Is this the it's not the moss? Is that the moss stitch? I'm not sure. But it's just a simple pattern to cover your eyes while you're sleeping to be, you know, the little bougie queen that we are. I think that's awesome. Let me just I'm just running through them all and I have one more. Oh, is this your daughter? Oh. I don't, what, no, what, what, where's my last picture? I don't see anything. We love eye covers. Okay. I think that was the last picture then. So, okay. That's, well, that's I have me. some, I like, I, I should have, I use eye covers like all, like every day, every really? night. I do. Uh, but Are you here's, a princess? I, I need to cover, or else I can't fall asleep. So I just need to like block out everything. So here's something. Oops. Hold on. 
here is something because another thing I use for relaxation is wait for it. Hold on. Let me just clear out all of these other ones that we have things so far. Another thing I use for relaxation is candles and look at these cute, cute candles. Okay. And I just wanted to give, I think there's the, the design oh, is it's so simple. Beautiful. They're so simple, but, um, they're so simple and you could just like totally make any room with your candles look cute. But <clears throat> here's one I want to give like props to in terms of presentation and photography. I just, here we go for South. Oh no, not, well, not that one, but here's one that's like Valentine Valentine's themes. Very cute on how they make the heart grid, but this one. Yes. So simple, simple, simple pattern, pattern. It's knitted, but you could totally do the same thing, crochet. And then they took the time to like merchandise it with like a string bow, or you could do this with like a leather bow. Like I was thinking, oh my gosh, I should wrap a candle and just put like some random, you know, like wrapper ribbon, like around from something that wrapped some other thing that I threw the wrapper out of, but like, you know, like it's just, it's so simple, but, uh, but it looks so elegant that they just put a look a little string around it. Doesn't that look I gorgeous? Know. Put some pine cones in a glass cup and a string around a little crochet sleeve. Yeah. And there and it's go. a five dollar pattern. Yeah. Come on. And it's genius. A, and then it's a 80 like it's a 20 to 30 dollar candle that you get at Barnes and Nobles, right? Yeah. <laughs> because it's like all done up. But uh yes, I am candle queen. Yes, cherry bee. I love candles too. And now I'm inspired to wrap them in pretty things for more self-care. Great gifts for giving spa basket for new mom. Lisa, if you just tuned in, we are focusing on self-care. So these are the things you could spoil yourself or others with. Absolutely. So, and I had some scrubbies. We already covered that. Um, and after you show your next pattern, I forgot. I did tell people they can send me uh, an email with something they're working on. So I, we're already... An hour and 20 minutes in. Oh, I didn't wow. realize. Oh, okay. And we're just like talking. I thought we're like, what are we going to talk about today? <laughs> Karen and I came up with this topic at, well, in bed. Were we both in bed at like <laughs> eight o'clock in the morning? Like, hi, I haven't I cleared know. the dirt out of my eye yet. <laughs> we're like, what are we going to do Saturday? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't washed my face yet. <laughs> Um, but it's your day. You're like self care. I'm like genius. That's it. No more discussion. Yeah, that's all I care about right now because I want to keep sleeping. And then, okay, here I have a few more, a few oh. more. Okay, because I'm like once I'm like if we're talking about self care, I've got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> here we go. Okay, the so why do we not crack from oh, your Jada, Jada said my Jada's on live stream. She that's says, "Hey, you ignored my comment." I said, "I said, is this your daughter?" And I brought I her up. It. Oh, okay. Oh. But uh, okay. oh, I'm yelling at my phone. Comment again. Comment again, Jada. <laughs> <laughs> I'll even, I, I, she's only, see, like here she is. So, is that her? No, no, that's, nope, that's her. her. This is your Jada. That's my Not Jada. Me. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. That's my, everybody, this is my wonderful daughter who, that's the one who ruined my car. We got a new car today, Jada. Yay! It's a Toyota. No, she didn't ruin it. it was the deer that ruined the car that jumped in front of her on the way home from work. She's the most perfect daughter in the world. I couldn't ask for a better child. Yes. And I'll date myself again. Toyota, you want it. You got it. Do you yeah, you're dating yourself. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Toyota. <laughs> okay. Water bottles. You want to carry your water bottle everywhere with you? There you go. I think this is good self-care. You can have it by your bedside. It can match your bedroom motif. Ooh. Also, this is a cute little pattern. And they charge $6 for it. It's like, whoa, you know you're a star seller when you can charge $6 for a water bottle pattern. And then know, right? another cute one. I like how the strap goes up the side. And it's all about the pictures. That's why that pattern is $6. Yeah. I've made a whole sweater and charged $4.99. But my picture is not as good as hers. Look how well lit it is and the color like they went with like mauve with green and there's a plant in the photo and it's Beautiful. made with raffia. It's not brilliant. It's like raffia, but you know, it could, if it gets wet, it'll be like, uh oh, but it's so cool that it's made of raffia because it'll be like nice and stiff so you can slide it in and out. Right. Mm -hmm. I like, I really like this pattern. I might make this pattern because like, like how that. long that is it? 
Look at that. Adorable. Look at that. Look at that lady in her white nightgown about to have a drink of water. <laughs> when I'm in my uh, nightgown, I'm not that cute. I am so not that cute. I look homeless in my gown. You have no, you saw me in my pajamas. Nothing I did, matters. I did. You did look a little homeless. <laughs> yes, I, did. I did. Like uh, when I go to sleep, nothing matches. Because I've never been... I've never been one of those people like, oh, I dress up to go to bed. I'm the person who like, ah, that shirt doesn't fit. I'll wear it to bed. It's a night shirt. It's my now. night clothes now. Yeah. Like, and then I'll wear it with the plaid this and something my daughter decided to give away. Like nothing matches. It's like, is it going to keep me warm and is it comfortable? Since I work from home now, all my clothes is usually pajamas. So I just take off my pants at night. So and I'm like, hey, yeah. Oh, How is Miss Jada doing? No Oh, Jada is doing wonderful at school. And Jada, if you want to, oh, there we go. She'll answer for you. School is going great. She, did you know there is music math? Yeah. Well, yeah, really? your husband, he, he's a music teacher, right? I think so. Yeah. But I don't know if he teaches music math. But she was showing me this stuff. I'm like, it looked like she was planning to set off a bomb someplace. Like all the notes she was taking. I'm like, what is this? It looks like hieroglyphics. I'm like, I don't understand. You should, why does music have math? Oh. Well, there's a lot of counting in music, right? Yeah. But uh, and the, but then then you have to know the values of like the notes and the rest. But that's about as much as I know. And then there's a lot of different symbols. And yeah. So yeah, it it's like a, a language of its own. It certainly is. And okay, here are the ones that are not so much self care, but are kind of like I had to throw in because I thought it was cute, and it ha I happened to happen upon it. So, um, so bye bye to the lady in the nightgown and hello <laughs> to, cause I was looking up yoga stuff. Ooh, this is loaded. a lotus flower crochet pattern. And I thought, well, wouldn't that be cute to have on your bedside? And then you could put like your little beaded bracelets into your bedside table, you yeah. know, like that, the way the colors they chose to turn this into this lotus flower pattern. It's so cute. I like the first one, the first picture with the, uh, was that like a roving, like a, yeah. Mercerized type. It's Mercerized. pretty. I like that. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. So I was like, I just have to show it because I think it's beautiful. Guys, if you want to download it, Wind Rose Fiber Studio. And then here's another one that I think we might have covered. Whoops. I think we might have covered in another thing, but like I thought this was cute. So I just show I thought I'd show it. Who doesn't need a cute little phone bag? So there's like a granny square on the front and then it holds your phone. I like that. It really can hold just about anything. You know, you can make it big enough to hold a note. I'm pricing on all my patterns. Everybody's and, patterns. I think I'm still pricing patterns like it's 2015. I think I need to up my. <laughs> like the price of eggs went up, so I need to up my patterns. Yeah, six seventy one for this. Yeah, look at that, guys. Pricing. I do have a video on pricing too. If you're looking to sell your products, <laughs> I need to watch it. <sighs> I need to watch it. Yes. I have two videos on pricing, actually. I did one just last year. It's more updated. Okay, what's it? Danetta Boone says, my daughter manages her night clothes and does her hair for bed. She said she never knows where she's going in her dreams and has Aww. to be ready. Aww. That's so cute. That's cute. And four semesters of music theory, I vaguely remember those days. To this day, I still like this. This past four days, I was singing. And uh, yeah, and I still to this day... I, I'm a terrible counter. Like I, when I get tired, I get lazy at counting for music. But uh, but anyway, this was fun. Do you mind if I just show everybody what the uh, in the email? Yes. Okay. Let me see. Add the stream. We'll go through these real quick because we're probably time to Take wrap time. up. Take your time. All right. Pattern. Oh, that's one of the pattern runners. I'll get to you, Minnie. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Nope, that's not it. Another pattern winner. What is this invoice? I got some money. Who gave me money? Here we go. <laughs> what? Oh, actually, it's not money. That was, I bought something during the live stream. I owe them $50. Oh. I bought this beautiful hoodie. So I'm like, I get money? No, I owe $50. That's wonderful. Oh, who is this? This is Mosaic. I must be Knit, of course. Knit and Crochet Tiger with the beautiful Mosaic stitch. Gorgeous. That's beautiful. He is talented. Let's go to the next one. The Crazy Poppy Lady. I'm working on my Charity Challenge Crochet Poppy brooches this year. I'm making 400 to bring my total donated to the Royal British Legion to 3,000. 
there is a tutorial on my channel. Oh, you got a channel? Got to check that out. And a free pattern in my Ravelry shop. Fancy make. Oh, crazy poppy lady. Send me some of your patterns. I would love to include you on my weekly roundups. Hmm. Let's check out what she got. Hey, hey. cutie. <laughs> love it. And you know what? This one... Oh, go, go keep ahead. going. Keep going. I was going to mention something. Crazy poppy lady. Email me. Anybody who's creating patterns that actually has a business, not just because you made one pattern. If you have an Etsy, a Facebook, and an Instagram, send me your work. I'll be happy to share it. Here was another one from Susan. Hi, Alicia. I am no Nazi Bell oh, from Detroit. I'm sorry if I ruined your name. And I met you in oh New Orleans. You did. I wish I seen your face. This is a recent pattern that I wrote, and I'm updating it. Ooh, the pom poms bring it all together, and I love the tag, and I love the yarn. Wonderful. And I'm sorry, I'm horrible with names, but I do remember a face. And make sure you share your patterns with, I love this the best. Make sure you share your patterns with me so I can include it on my roundup. There's enough money in this crochet world for us all to do some business. Absolutely. Having said that, doing a little bit of a shout out, I wouldn't mind a shouting out. Are you going to the Atlanta fashion crochet show or show crochet fashion no, show? Wasn't that this month? I think so. It is. Let me no, just I'm shout out. Going. To my um, one of my a couple of my students who are going, and we're going to wish them well. So, if you are going to the crochet fashion, look for Latrice from Peachful Crafts and Pe yeah, from Peachful Crafts. She is you're going to see her full newest and full collection of um, of handbags, and you probably also know our dear dear Courtney Whitehead. Yes, she also cool. is Crazy going. Yeah, she's Creations by Courtney. She is also going to be at the show as well. So be sure to check them out and check out their blogs and websites right now too, because they'll they're going to be showcasing their their collections as well. Yes, a reclectic. Are you going? Crochet Fashion Week. She's going. Good for you. I need okay. I'm Karen, gonna save my money for the Grove Crochet special. Guild. I'm I told you last year I'd go to that. If you're going again, I'm gonna go. Her, they might not do it again or oh. they've had trouble well they're going to do it probably next year i don't know if they're going to do it this year because the place that they book for the that they usually book the hotel got demolished or something or oh, something like that that's yeah. a shame Gee. Like, that's never good news <laughs> no. well anyway yeah, I'm sure we'll hear plenty about it but we'll find reasons to get together even if it's just for leisure yeah, and I finally got my passport, so I'm ready to come to Canada and sit at your $75 spa. <laughs> okay, that's I'm perfect. Ready. I still think, I, I don't want to put all the pressure on you because you do 18 jobs, but you're so good <laughs> at organizing. I think you should get like 10 of us together, bring us to Canada, and we spa it up and go eat snacks. Yeah, and drink crochet. wine at a winery district. I need yeah, to- we don't even have to crochet. We can just bring our own work. Because most workshops have, hey, learn how to do this, learn how to do this. It should be a self-care crochet trip. Oh. Bring your stuff if you want to, bring it if you want to, but it's all about relaxing. I like that if theme. I like that theme. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm going to try. Actually, I did think about that because I met with a girlfriend and she works in travel. And mm -hmm. uh, I did ask her, but she's not in package tours anymore. And I said, because yeah. a lot of the people who might come are either going to be from Canada or the U.S. So now I probably would... I probably would contact like a bed and breakfast or like a travel thing in, in um, Niagara. So anyway, yeah. keep your eyes peeled folks, because when we do it, um, <laughs> when we do a blow up mattress right behind her in her little studio, I'm going to be sleeping yeah. on her uh, floor. But that's it. The thing is too, you and I might be going to Europe and yes, yes. I may have to check with my boss first before I ask for more vacation time to go to Niagara. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good idea. You should never go away without permission of your employment. Yes. <laughs> so, but um, but yeah, the the it's a stand it's a standing invite to Alicia if we're gonna we're gonna do something fun in Europe. <laughs> yes. yes, we're gonna go see Robin. We're gonna knock on Robin's door. Like, what are you doing? Come to Rome. Let's yes. Let's, let's paint oh, paint the we're town. We're gonna go to Rome. 
What were we gonna do? We were gonna pick up Robin, then go to Rome, or go to Rome, then go visit Rob. What were we doing? Because we're just well, it's all attached on that side of the of the world. I mean, you're so lucky. Like I know in the United States, there's no train system. You can't get from the east to the west. But if you live in Europe, you can literally travel across Europe. You mm -hmm. can't do that here in North America. It's just like you can't. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can't really. And when you try to, like, even if you try and go by Amtrak, like, it's, like, just as expensive as flying these days. What the heck, right? Yeah, and 80 times longer and not as comfortable. No. So, yeah, I've not, I haven't been on a train for, like, donkeys, so I have no idea. It's a, Isn't it cheaper just to fly charter places now? I was, I was thinking about, because, you know, I'm starting to travel, do solo travel, and I'm like, I want to take the Amtrak. Actually, recollect. Yeah, eclectic, recollect. Rec recollecting goods. She was talking about maybe coming to visit me over the summer because she's going to do the Amtrak and go someplace to New York and maybe one of the stops is through Pittsburgh. I was thinking about doing something like that. I was going to go to uh, the state over. I'm like, driving to the state over would be like three hours, but taking a train would be 18. I'm like, how far are you? I know I'm sorry with American geography, but how far are you from Minnesota? Oh, forever. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Is it the Midwest or something? I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, forever. <laughs> oh, I would never be able to get to uh, Maria. Maria's in Minnesota. Yep, there she goes. OMG, I'm in Minnesota. That's close enough to uh, Canada. Canada. Yeah. But what part of Canada? Like Winnipeg? <laughs> See, like the way you don't know where Minnesota is, I'm gonna to me, now. it's just like Canada. And I know there's like Quebec. And then there's like the other parts. And I have no, I'm a very American. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Like Minnesota is so far. It is near Winnipeg. <laughs> it's so far. It's like 13 hours away. Oh my gosh. That's far. Okay. And Pennsylvania. No, I'm closer to you, Alicia, than Minnesota. Really? Yeah. Like literally Pennsylvania is only six hours away. I, I drove through your, your hood when I was like over the summertime. Yeah. This. Alicia. Alicia. Going all eat, pray, crochet. I'm here for it. Yes. yes. I watched that movie with everybody. If you know, I went through a divorce and eat, pray, love. I lived that. And Under the Tuscan Sun, those were my two <laughs> movies. And <laughs> Waiting to Exhale. Such girl flicks. <laughs> and uh, have you watched Tom and Louise? You know, they die at the yeah. end. <laughs> yeah, that's not a happy ending. I'm not trying to film and Louise it, but I do like <laughs> their energy before they. Fly off a cliff. Right. <laughs> like their energy. Oh <laughs> my gosh, you're too funny. <laughs> but under the Tuscan sun, isn't that's a that's a that's a good one too. Mm -hmm. But eat, pray, crochet. Uh Melanie, that's a perfect theme. And I know you would come because Melanie is all about, you know, peace, feeling zen. Yes. Oh, yeah. So when we do it, it's just yeah, it's true. I don't think I could take any more vacation time this year. <laughs> But we'll try. We'll try. I already booked the Europe trip, though. So uh, let's see here. I'm in. The, it's close to, to Duluth, Lake Superior. There we go. Now. OK. Well, Alicia, should we oh, wrap, we'll wrap things up here? You do your thing. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on this live stream. I had no clue it would last. This Actually, I had a piece of a clue because anytime I'm talking with Karen, I'm in my happy place and we can just talk like it was yesterday, like no time has been lost. But thank you guys for sharing your pictures with us, staying with us for a whole almost two hours. It's twice as long than what I usually do. So oh, wow. thank you. Well, you. We, yeah, we had to. So, yes. And getting together with Alicia is always so much fun for me. So that's it's I don't even keep track of the time because we just kind of go with it. And uh, oh, yeah. See, Mel, she likes the longer ones. Me, too. Oh, Diane, under the Tuscan sun. OK, I have to. I do like Steel Magnolias. I do. <gasps> oh, I need to watch that. But I'm not ready for crying. What's the other? Oh, one yeah, you're going to cry. What's the one with Bette Mittler? And Joe Beaches? Oh. Go watch that. It'll be so, so sad. Oh. It's too sad. <laughs> That's too much sadness. You can't watch that one. Watch something that'll make you happier. So yeah, Under the Tuscan Sun's really good. And um, yeah, 
Um, but anyhow, so yes, Alicia, thank you for getting together. And I can't wait till our next live stream. In the meantime, if you're wondering about, I hope you crochet, we'll put the links for these projects that we, that we showed today in the description below. And if you're wondering about starting a business or wanting to sell any of your handmade items, feel free to book a free consult with me um, or visit Karen V. Miguel. I have tons of free content and workshops there that you can check out in the meantime. But if you're just into some really fun girl time, then thank you for tuning in and come back again next time that Alicia and I do it live. Okay. All right, guys. Bye. Have a great week. Take care. See Bye. You next time.